Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Taj Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts Podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm pleased to have on for the very first time Nasty Nate Jennerman, 12 and 3, 25 years old, Rufus Sport product, and uh, I think he's one of the best flyweights not currently in the UFC. What's going on, man? I said flyweights. I meant I went featherweight. I'm looking right at 145 pounds. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> if you made flyweight, that'd really be a story, huh? Oh, man. <laughs> you're six that foot, right? That would be a struggle. So you're six foot tall? Yeah, six foot tall. Man, the fact that you even make 145 is incredible. Yeah, you know, I, it was skinny when we get there, but it comes off really easy. So the weight cuts are still what I want them to be. They're not too hard. My wife helps out with my weight cuts so much. How so? Uh, she cooks all my meals. Um, she's she's always the one asking me, like, what I all ate that day, what I'm getting in my body. Tells me if I need to have a little more. Tells me if I had a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Is uh, Does your wife have a background in nutrition or anything like that? Um, she doesn't have like a degree or anything, but she's done a lot of like studying and she works at a, uh, acupuncture clinic. So she gets a lot of like, uh, she talks to her boss a lot who does have a degree. That's very cool, man. And that, that seems like a, uh, a resource that is available to you that a lot of other fighters really don't have the, the benefit of, you know? Right. Absolutely. You've won seven of your last eight fights, man. You're on a tear. You uh, you recently just competed June 1st. It only took you 48 seconds to get the submission choke win over Kevin Crew, man. What's next for you? Um, You know, we kind of, I just got to the gym yesterday and talked to Duke a little bit. Um, You know, we might be sitting through the summer just to see if anything falls through with like the UFC or anything. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, if the UFC doesn't call, we'll be ready to... Um, you know, just beat up the next guy that signs that contract on the other side. So we'll be ready to go September, I think, LFA is coming back to this area that I've been fighting in. So if the UFC doesn't call by then, we'll be ready to go again for LFA. Yeah, LFA is uh, is one of the, the better regional promotions, man. They've done a, a fantastic job at building stars. I think that you're the next guy to really uh, that's really going to break through there. Of course, you know, you train on a daily basis at Rufus Sport. I get to talk to a lot of Rufus Sport guys, man, and almost every single one of them to the man mentions you as one of their main training partners and the kid to watch out for next. What what does that really mean to you, man, only being 25 and, and really having the the respect of your peers? Yeah, you know, it means a lot. Um, I'm always trying to help everybody with their fight camps as well. Um, you know, I've had the opportunity to really help out with Paul Felder and Anthony Pettis a lot over the last two years, so it's been it's been huge. And now Jared Gordon has joined our team, mm-hmm. um, so he's another forty fiver. And yeah, I mean, me and uh, Jordan Griffin are making the come up on the next few prospects that should be signed. And Rafael Stotts, I mean, another guy that should be signed like right away. Yeah, it's just amazing what you guys are able to uh, just continually to churn out there at, at Rufus Sport. It's truly impressive, man. Uh, you know, you're only 25 years old. What made you get into fighting? Um, so when I was in high school, I watched it a lot. And uh, I had learned that there was a uh, gym right in my hometown here in Sheboygan. And, uh, you know, I just went one night to try it out. And I ended up staying for three hours and I fell in love with it. Um, I had my first amateur fight while I was still in high school and then, I turned pro at 20 and now, uh, you know, I I, I can't even like, it's insane the fighter I was when I first turned pro to now or even like last year to now. I feel like I've really made the biggest strides in my MMA game in the last year. Where do you think you've made the biggest gains at? What area? I would say mentality is a big area that I really changed. And then, man, really honestly everywhere. I, I work all year round and I'm constantly in the gym trying to get better at everything. So um, my striking's gotten a lot better. Uh, my jiu-jitsu's getting way better. 
in my wrestling has been increasing a lot lately too. So I'm really making strides all around to be the most well-rounded fighter I can be. You're somewhat of uh, known as a uh, as a quick starter. I mean, as I said, a full 48 seconds it only took you in, in your most recent fight. But you've been known to uh, to finish guys quickly. You don't get paid by the hour, let's say. Is that something that you, you stress, or is it just, you know, been good luck for you so far? Um, it's definitely something I'm always looking for. Um, I, the, the way I think about it is the longer that I'm in that cage, um, you know, the the better chance there is of him hitting me with something that can knock me out or putting me in trouble. So the faster I can get out of there, the better for me. Um, you know, this weekend on Friday night was my fifth first round finish. So I'd always like to keep adding to that stat. First round finishes are the best. Oh, yeah, everybody, uh, I mean, fans and employers alike like those. So that's always a good thing to keep in your pocket there. Now, um, the featherweight division is one of the more exciting ones, I believe. You know, Max Holloway is currently sitting on top of the throne in the, in the UFC, but the UFC is not really the only game in town anymore. You know, Bellator is really making moves, and PFL, I'm really excited for what they're doing. They got a couple of uh, killers at, at their featherweight division, Andre Harrison, Lance Palmer. Have you entertained the idea of Bellator or the PFL, or is it just you, you got, like, tunnel vision for the UFC? Um, yeah, I mean, PFL came to the gym, and they were looking at a couple guys. Um, they weren't I, – I think they were an option, um, but we, we, we've got our eyes set on the UFC. Um, you know, once once you're the champ in the UFC, I mean, you're pretty much the best in the world, and that's what I'm trying to be is the best in the world, so I'm going to try to compete with the best guys. The UFC 145 weight class is very big, but outside of the top 15, I don't see a lot of contenders in that division. Yeah, outside of the top 15, it does kind of get, it's it's open, and I definitely The drop-off is big. It is, it is, it's pretty substantial after that 15, and I think that you are a UFC quality fighter. I definitely think that um, you were going to be out fighting on the big show sooner rather than later. That's for sure, man. I mean, you got everything. You know, you you have the the ability. You're improving. You train at one of the best camps, and uh, you're an exciting fighter, man. So I can't wait to to see what's next for you. Whether it be another LFA fight or whether it is you know a last minute fight uh, on the UFC. That's what we've seen lately with uh, with highly touted prospects we've seen the ufc offer them these last minute fights was that something you'd be opposed to or or do you want a full camp on your debut oh i'm totally cool taking a short notice fight if that's what it falls down to um i've always been one to um stay ready so you don't have to get ready Mm um i've always like i said i'm always in the gym so i just had five fights in the last 13 months so i'm always ready to go five fights in 13 months and you're looking for more yes sir <laughs> to be 25 again man well Nate, <laughs> I, I truly believe that you're one of the best uh, 145ers that isn't uh, fighting on the big show right now man and i can't wait to see what's next for you the floor is yours man if you'd like to shout out your sponsors anything you'd like brother all right thank you very much i appreciate that yeah you know first i want to thank god um you know just always putting all these blessings in my life um you know with the people that i train with the people around me you know, it's all a blessing. Other than that, you know, just got to always thank uh, Combat Corner for helping me or cooking me up with the best gear. Raw Dog here in Sheboygan. They're always showing a lot of support. Champ Sports Bar in Sheboygan. Weiss Brothers, Three Sheeps, Greasy Spoon, all uh, Sheboygan area. Um, you know, I like to support local and they've been supporting me. Advanced Spine Care and Wellness, Pure Body Balance, Healthy Living Acupuncture. I've got a really good medical team behind me helping me through any little injuries that I get. Uh, Grip Mouth Guards, keeping my uh, teeth in my mouth where I like it. (laughs) SDG, my management company. Um, You know, obviously, shout out to Rufus Ford, all the guys down there. They've been a huge help with everything. Um, The coaches holding down for all my teammates. 1740 Beer Bum, keeping my beard on point and (laughs) <laughs> you know, as as I said before, my wife, she helped me out with everything. So without her, this stuff isn't even possible. I hear you, man. We all need a good woman behind us. That's for sure, man. Absolutely. Well, Nasty Nate, gentlemen, I, I truly believe that you're one of the best men, and we're going to be seeing you on the big show uh, very soon, man, 12 and 3. And if it is LFA next, I know that you're going to uh, continue to knock him down there too, brother. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Take care, man. I look forward to speaking with you uh, in the future. All right. Talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.